Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hi, and welcome to this episode's Pro's Tip. I hope you're enjoying our King Mackerel episode. Hey, I wanted to take a quick break from the action and just talk to you about something that's really important to anglers all over the state of Florida, especially novices and newcomers to our sport. Regardless if you're fishing inshore or offshore, Proper hook selection is absolutely essential, but there's so many hooks out there. How do you know which is the right hook for the job? A couple of things to consider. The purpose of the hook. How are you intending on fishing with that hook? Is it gonna be with a natural bait, cut bait, or an artificial bait? Something that you really have to pay attention to. The size of the hook. Use a hook that's big enough to get the job done, but not too big to where it's gonna hinder the movement of a live bait or become too visible to a keen-eyed predator. So again, that's something to consider. The shape and style of the hook. If you're over on the Gulf Coast or targeting billfish, I'll tell you what, inline circle hooks are the way to go and they're absolutely mandatory in certain applications. Octopus style hooks that are offset, that's what our choice is when we're targeting king mackerel. They grab that fish every time. It's a perfect choice for a wide variety of applications. Small shank tuna hooks, easy to hide in a bait, important for a predator with such great eyesight. Again, take all of these things into consideration. The cost of the hook, hooks aren't cheap, but remember, you get what you pay for. Stay away from that cheap stuff. It's gonna bend and you're gonna lose fish. We fish VMC hooks, you know, fortunately they're using modern materials like vanadium steel to create hooks that are stronger yet thinner than ever before. That increases your catch ratio, it increases your hook up ratio, makes your live baits as natural as possible, and I'll tell you what, at the end of the day, you're gonna be a more successful angler.